What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. A little PSA news roundup. Uh, a couple interesting things came out last week. Uh, one from a Jeff Wilson interview, and then also from the PSA podcast that they put out on a semi-regular basis that I just thought were kind of interesting news nuggets. Uh, nothing crazy, but just some interesting food for thought. So that's what we're going to go ahead and talk about today. So like, comment, subscribe, you guys and girls know the drill. Let's start with the PSA pod news first. Uh, and I think these two things kind of go hand in hand and where we see things heading very, very quickly, honestly. The PSA podcast announced that the backlog is now under 1 million cards. And we know they've been grading about a million cards a month or close to it. So they estimated by late mid to late September, the backlog will be completely clear with checks out with the numbers that we're seeing via the gem rate data. And we know that they're also, you know, grading current submissions that are coming in the door. Also, people that submitted value submissions extremely early, the $18 specials that mailed them, they are already flying through the front half of the process. A lot of that stuff is sitting, I've seen some people that there's are sitting in assembly already. Now, I mailed mine the week of the National. Uh, it's been received and checked in. It's still in research and ID. But I set mine way later than, you know, that was almost the end of the month compared to the beginning of the month. Now, according to the PSA pod, they got tons of cards in during that submission process. But it, do, it does sound like the ones early in the process are moving through. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, those ones are already through grading and in assembly. Uh, mine went in about three weeks later and is sitting in research and ID. So you kind of start to get an idea of, you know, how busy each one of those departments are. But they've been pretty clear from early on that the front half of the process is pretty clean. It's the back half of the process is where the glut is right now. And they even said that some of those value orders would could potentially ship back very close to the same time as the last of the backlog. Like they said, don't be surprised if the last week of the backlog being cleared also has value orders going out with it. Now I have one value order in queue as well. One of the $30 specials, not specials, uh, the $30 one I sent for Bowman Sapphire prospects and that's been sitting in assembly for a while. So I'll be curious to see how that kind of moves along the process as we get later and later into this stage. The other thing was Nat Turner was on with Jeff Wilson. Uh, it was an interview recorded at the National, but I believe it posted after the National. There was one interesting tidbit from there. And he said that PSA does not want any service level to be above 90 days. That's the longest they want to hold a card. Which I once again found very interesting and it kind of talks or speaks to the processing power that they're going to have with both sites fully operational now and the backlog cleared. If you're getting PSA bulk orders back in 90 days, that's going to be massive, in my opinion. Also, depending on how they price it, and we are going to see a price decrease. They're not going to stay at 30 bucks. Nat said they're not going to stay at 30 bucks. And they're also going to play games with, I should play games, whatever, with the specials. They have that as a weapon in their bag. We've been talking about it a ton. That they have this ability to offer cheaper pricing for certain things as they kind of want to manipulate things or or open doors up for, for people that haven't submitted before or, you know, help out set collectors or TCG people or Marvel guys or whatever they want to do. They have tools in the bag now that they could kind of do some creative things between specials and they have that queue system set up if they need it. But to me, the big thing there was the 90 day turnaround time that that's what they want their max turnaround time to be. If they can hit that and stick to it on bulk, that's going to be a pretty big deal. I know CSG bulk right now, 15 bucks a card is turning around in a month. Uh, SGC does not have bulk at present, but I guess that could always change with one, you know, Peter Instagram post uh, announcing something new there that maybe they roll out bulk pricing 
Uh, and then, you know, Beckett, I, I believe, I don't remember if Beckett has bulk pricing or not. But you kind of see where things are going here. That The PSA is going to get cheaper and have a faster turnaround time. And as we've been discussing this entire time, how does that shift the entire landscape? Uh, I think this is going to be a very interesting month for Gemrate data at the end of the month because we saw what happened last month when PSA announced the $18 special, how it kind of put a lot of downward pressure on all the other companies. And then this month, that doesn't exist, at least right now. We're already halfway through the month. Um, and you're seeing SGC's numbers increase again, at least on a week-to-week -week basis. So I'll be very interested to see how August numbers compare to June's numbers when PSA also didn't have a special on and then compare that to July numbers when they did have the special on and see, I mean, you're going to be able to, you are going to be able to see exactly, in my opinion, how much that $18 pricing kind of affected each one of these individual companies because we have what the numbers look like the month before we have what they look like during the $18 special and then we're going to have what they look like after the $18 special before any other price changes and then I think we see I'm going to guess we probably see new PSA pricing by the end of the month maybe September 1st that's a pure guess I know nothing no inside information at all but they're we are coming to the point where, once again, they are going to need cards. I think we'll have a good idea how quickly they're processing stuff and how many cards they got from these national orders. Curious, anyone that dropped off at the national, if you dropped a, a bulk order off at the national, what status is it in? Has it been checked in yet? Uh, is it in research and ID? Where are those orders at? Because like I said, we know the people that mailed them right before, right when it was first announced, they're already through grading in an assembly. I know I mailed mine the day before I left for the national and it's in research and ID. So I'm curious, where are the orders that were dropped off at the national in person? So if you did that, please comment down below and just say, hey, it hasn't been checked in yet. It's been checked in. It's in research and ID whatever stage of the game that it's in because they probably did get a ton of orders dropped off and probably large orders as well but do remember this was capped by the low declared value so there's all sorts of stuff floating around with that as well and that is the other thing you know we've been talking about you know where are they going to get cards how are they going to get cards are there enough cards going around for them to grade at capacity the other thing that we need to remember is a lot of this stuff a lot of these specials a lot of this lower pricing has been restricted by a collector's universe membership. Whether they keep that in place or not, I don't know, but they really haven't even fully opened the floodgates yet. It's still been restricted by the collector's universe membership thing. Uh, and I have a feeling that bulk pricing, you're probably gonna need that to get it. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, CSG charges for a membership as well. They give you the money back in credit, but interesting times ahead as the grading wars continue to slog forward. But I really do think in the, by the time we get to the end of September, I think the grading landscape in regards to pricing turnaround times, what's going where is really going to shake up over the next 45 days as we move closer and closer to that backlog being completely clear. And then what do they do? Uh, and then how do the other companies react to what they do. I still really think uh, a lot of the companies are kind of waiting to kind of see what PSA pricing ends up looking like. I'm wondering if that's why SGC hasn't done anything yet. Uh, if they're waiting to kind of see what PSA show their hand. I know Beckett hasn't really shifted prices around very much. CSG just raised prices. Uh, so I have a feeling CSG is probably pretty comfortable with where they're at right now. They have pretty good turnaround times and they're still the cheapest pricing in the industry. Now we'll see if that lasts, depending on what PSA does. But interesting times ahead. We've been talking about this forever and we are now getting to the point where we're going to see a major shift in things. So that's all I have for you guys and girls today. Catch you on the next one. Peace.